Okay, dear students, now uh, today I'm going to talk about what um, a new word formation process, as you can see here, it is called conversion. And the word conversion, it is the, the, the word class, I mean, part of speech of the word conversion is noun. The word conversion originally came from the verb convert, C-O-N-V-E-R-T, where you change. When somebody changes his, um, uh, what, his religion, we say uh, he converted, he converted, okay, a convert. A convert means someone who has changed what his um, religion. When you change, for example, from Christianity to Islam, we say he is a, he's, he's a convert. He has converted what? His religion. So now, uh, with this meaning where you change a, a doctrine, you change a system, you change a religion. Now, in, when we come to linguistics, and uh, especially uh, in this process, which is called conversion, here we are um, changing the function of the word or the category of the word. So also we have a, a change here, similar to the change in the um, in the what in the uh, <clears throat> in the religion or the do in the doctrine in the system. Here we have a con uh, we a conversion means change in the uh, what in the um, uh, word uh, in the uh, the category of the word or the function of the word. Here here Yule says generally it is. Uh, Conversion called category change. Now, what is the category of this word? Of this word, it is a noun. Okay, we change it into a verb. For example, we will come to this. Uh, so we call it category change. Category change. Category change. Also, we call it. Our, uh, we call it functional shift. Functional shift. Now, what does that mean? Uh, uh, conversion as a word class, uh, <coughs> a word formation process. Now, uh, you see, uh, you remember from last time uh, when we talked about what uh, word formation processes. And especially in, for example, in clipping, hypochorism, in back formation. <coughs> also, we have in a blending. You remember these? You see here uh, in these processes, blending, clipping, uh, back formation, uh, also in hypochorism. Here in these processes, we are reducing the word. So this is a very important point here we have to notice, we have to pay attention to. What is it? That in those processes, clipping, back formation, uh, uh, blending, okay? Here we, uh, we, we witness or we, uh, the word undergoes what? Uh, a reduction, a reduction in the, in the structure of the word. We shrink the word, we reduce the word. Here, in this process, we do not do any reduction. We do not witness any reduction. The word is not reduced. The word as it is. You see the point? The word as it is, we keep it as it is, but what do we do? We change in the category of, of the word. Or we call it functional shift. Now, what does it mean when we say category change or functional shift? It means we change in the uh, word, uh, in the part of a speech. If it is a noun, it becomes a verb. 
If it is a verb, it becomes a noun. If it is an adjective, it becomes a noun. If it is a noun, it becomes an adjective. If it is a preposition, it becomes a verb, like this. So here, I do not uh, eclipse the word. I do not reduce from the word. What I do is that I keep the word as it is, but we change in the what, in the function of the word, in the category of the word. Okay, now let's have an example for um, for uh, what <coughs> uh, for clarification of this. Now, uh, right. See, for example, now the word. Uh, let me start from Arabic. Let me start from Arabic for a clarification. Now, we have, for example, for example, Abu. Now, أبوى من أبوى راح نأخذ الفعل يعبي 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 أو يعب يعبي أو يعب okay يعبي يعني نقول هذا for example هذه عبيت في في بغداد عبيت في السليمانية عبيت في البصرة يعني هذا من تقرأ when you read on the مثلا هذا container or bottle or any or a glass or anything you say and it has something inside liquid يعني a drink or any other thing you say عبيت في التعبئة تمت التعبئة في in some in a place I mean in a in a province in a, in a place and in Basra in Baghdad in somewhere else okay see here in Arabic, it is not like this in English. How? Abwa, or you abbe, take for example the word bottle, B O T. -T I better, I better put it here in order for the clarification. Take for example the word bottle. Bottle is a noun. Okay? Water bottle. Water bottle. Now this is as a noun. Bottle. Three bottles of, for example, vinegar. Three bottles of squash, etc., etc. Now when I use this word, I change in the category of the word. I change it from a noun into a verb. Now that is we call it what conversion. And by this way, I have created a new word. I have added a new word to the to the to the to the language. Huh? by changing the word, the category of the word, without reducing anything from the word. This is what we mean by conversion. So, for example, bottle, B or double T, verb, as a verb. We say, for example, this, it is bottled, it is bottled in Baghdad. Now, what does that mean here? It means when you when you want to translate it, to call "obbe obbe fi Baghdad," or "obbe fi Baghdad." Obbe, so if I turn. A passive voice, I'll be doing much good. Here, OBA, here it refers to what? Bottle. And see here, we have added ED to the to the word bottle, huh? the word bottle, because I have used it as a verb. So here, uh, bottle is a verb. So now, what have I done here? I didn't uh, reduce the word, as it is, but this is E. But because I have used it as a, as, as a verb, I have added e because I'm using it in the past in order to, because this refers to the past or indicates the past. So now bear in mind that this is the idea of what, or this is the idea of conversion. We change what, we change the category of the word from noun to verb, from verb to noun, from uh, a proposition into uh, to what to uh, uh, a verb 
I'll give you an example just now. So put in your mind that this is the idea, this is the notion of conversion. Conversion, then what do we do? We create a new word by changing the function. We shift the function of the word. We change the a category of the word, the class, the word class of the word, from a verb into a noun, from a noun into an adjective, from an adjective into a verb, just like this. Now, the question is what? Now, do we also change the meaning when we change the word class? No, we do not change the meaning. The meaning is not changed. When I say a uh, bottle here, bottle, bottle, abwa, uh, had here, you uh, abbe. So where is the change here? Well, I've changed what the word class. Have I reduced from the word or I have, or I have kept it as it is? No, I have kept it as, uh, as it is. But what did I do? I just changed in the word class of the word. So this is the idea of uh, word class. We have verb in the book uh, from noun to verb. See, for example, from noun to verb, noun to verb, verb and I have verb noun verb noun and a noun change into verb verb change into noun for example noun from uh, to dust 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 what is the category of the word dust dust means ribar it's a noun but if I use it uh, as a verb I, I say did you did you dust the carpet? The living room? Yeah. هل نظفت من الغبار غرفة المعيشة the living room? Here I am using dust to dust now as a noun. But today today it's dusty from dust غبار. Here I did you dust? So I change the word the word from the, the category of the word from noun to verb. Okay, opposite of this verb to noun like what? Uh, uh, what verb to noun? Uh, cheat to cheat. Yavish or Hazer, he's a cheat, a shash. So now, in this way, I have uh, introduced, I have created what? A new word. I have added a new word to the language without changing, without reducing the word, without changing in the form of the word. I just change in the category of the word from verb to noun, from noun to verb, etc. Et and you have more examples in the book you can look at. Uh, one example, uh, uh, for example, this which really uh, attracted my uh, attention, that is, um, see for example here, This is a very good example. They are going. They are going to up the prices. They are going to up the prices. See up. Up is a preposition. To is also a preposition. Okay? But here up is used as what? As a verb. Up a'la. Up here, يرفعون الأسعار. So you have used it as a word from, either from a preposition, I've used it as what as a verb. شوف لاحظ the category change. Another example is um, uh, down. We down. We down. For example, a few. And then a few, um, a few what? A few, uh, he says, a few beers. I don't want to use this word. I, I, I read down a few, for example, uh, juices, yani glasses of juices, for example. Down, and then, shuf. Down here, it's a preposition, but we have used it what? Uh, 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 <coughs> as what? As a verb. So this is what I mean by conversion. And what, what I have done is that I have 
added a new word by changing the word class without changing in the what in the uh, without sorry reducing the word without uh, the form of the the structure of the word by keep it as it is not as we witnessed in the previous what uh, processes but uh, here we do nothing we just change the word class okay this is what I mean by by conversion okay right Now let's come to the <clears throat> let's come to the uh, the next word formation process. Now what is what is it? It is coinage, 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 coinage. The stress is on the first of coinage. Now what do I mean by this? By coinage, coinage means to bring something new into existence and a name uh, or a noun sorry to bring a word into existence put it this way bring a word into existence which was not existed before as if uh, <clears throat> what happens to the to the uh, now uh, a woman gives birth and brings a new uh, a baby the baby was not existed Okay, here also we bring a new word into existence. This word was not existed before, but we have, uh, we have created this word. <clears throat> for uh, Now, what is the reason for creating these words? Usually, as he says here, with typical sources of, this is, by the way, this is a process, the X process, uh, that is conversion, it is very, uh, it's very normal. It's common in English. This process, which is coined, it is not widely used. It is not common. It is not common. Okay. Now, typical source of typical source of this process is what we call trade names. Trade names for com commercial products. Trade names for commercial products. Now, when they create something, commercial product. Mentuj to Jari, they give it a trade name. That trade name they give it to it is what is what we call coinage, or the name given to that is called, or the process by which that new word, or that word that they give it to that new product, it is called what, uh, under which process we we call that process as coinage. Now let's have an example um, in order to see uh, how uh, what. Uh, I mean, as, a, as an example of coinage, we said that the typical product is commercial product, commercial, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, trade names, Asmati Jariyev, or Markad, as we say, for commercial products. For example, here, as he says, that we use it without capital letters. For example, now let's come to this, the word ASP. I R I N aspirin A S P I R N A S P I R I N aspirin now asp aspirin before the creation of this medicine before the creation of this medicine there was no aspirin there, there was no word in English called what aspirin but after they produced after they invented this medicine after they have they have invented uh, this medicine they want to give it a name what is that name the name they gave it is aspirin so now aspirin is a new word is a new word this new word has been given to that product under this under this title what is this title or what is this process under which we gave what a, a, a new name or a name or a new name yes to that product aspirin we we gave it under this 
product, this title. What is it? Coinage. So now coinage is the, uh, the invention of a new word and that uh, new word which has been invented is used as a name for a new product. So already we have the product and then we give it a name. So this name we gave it to it. Uh, we call the name, give, uh, give it to that product. We call it uh, what? Uh, uh, under this process, what is this uh, process? Uh, we call it coinage. Right. Uh, another example, another example is Vaseline. Vaseline. V A -S, S E L I N E. Vaseline. Right. Now, Vaseline is also another word, as another example of what? Coinage. Why? Because the, this ointment, this material, it was not um, invented before. There was no Vaseline, act, uh, in fact. But when they invented this ointment, when they invented it, uh, they, they, they gave it a name. That name is called Vaseline. So Vaseline is also a word uh, as an example of, well, of what? Of coinage, where uh, we use it with this what this new in, uh, new material right um, beside this we have the word nylon 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 but nylon we call it in Arabic nylon this is also another example of what of coinage so all these words are new words New words. They were not uh, found before, but after the, pro uh, the invention of these products, aspirin, vaseline, nylon, we gave it a name. This name we gave it is a new name, a new name. Okay, so such uh, such names which we give which we give them or which we gave them or which we created as they created these things, we call them an example of. Coinage. In Arabic, they call it Nahad. As they uh, invented what? That product. Right. Here, uh, you see, um, I'd like to uh, mention something very interesting. Under coinage, we have what we call eponym. Uh, uh, E P O N Y M eponym eponym E P O N Y eponym eponym is also discussed or uh, as he as he says here new word based on the okay right also it is a new word eponym is also a new word but this word this new word is based on qaima ala asas what the name of a person or the name of what of a place the name of a person or the name of what place so now there is a difference between what between uh, uh, eponym and coinage coinage is uh, um, or let me say that uh, the difference between the name uh, coinage here coinage here and eponym in particular is that eponym are given on the, on the basis of what? Uh, on the base or on the basis of what? Or the basis of what eponym is what is names given on the name of a person or a place. Let me start from Arabic. Iraqi colloquial. We have Dulaymiya. We have also Husayniya. Dulaymiya, you know that Dulaymiya. Dulaymiya. It's a it's a type of food. It's a type of food, uh, and this uh, uh, type of food is 
call is given to that food after the name of a tribe. بعد اسم هذه العشيرة عشيرة الدليم which is in Ramadi in the west of Iraq the western of Iraq دليمين حسيني also also we use it when we talk about a building just like a mosque but it is it is given to it on the after the name of Imam Hussein you see here so we call it what حسيني Okay, so like this in English, like this in English, we have, for example, um, we have Hoover, the word Hoover, Hadi, Hoover, vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner. They do not say, uh, uh, sorry, they do not say, uh, they do not say what vacuum cleaner. They say, they say what, um, they say Hoover, and the Hoover is originally the name of a person who, who uh, borrowed this product, vacuum cleaner, from somebody called Spangler, but uh, Spangler is not used as uh, as Hoover in, in, in England, they do, they they call the vacuum cleaner as Hoover after the person who bought the, what this product from somebody called Spangler, as in the book. Okay, right. Now, uh, other uh, what other examples of eponym which are uh, named uh, which are. Uh, well, the basis of these names are places, name of places or names, names of persons. We have, for example, um, genes. Uh, well, genes. Genes. Genes were cloth, piece of cloth. cloth. Nowadays we use... Uh, 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 trousers which is made of this cloth we call it jeans now jeans already or uh, uh, originally uh, 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 what named after what after the word genoa in in what in in italy genoa g e n o a genoa okay genoa uh, another example is the word sandwich Sandwich, right. Sa what about sandwich? Right. Um, sandwich, uh, we, uh, we know uh, that sandwich, nowadays we use it, um, two slices of a bread, and inside between these two slices, we put a piece of meat, piece of, you know, cheese between them. Now this originally, how did this food, which we call it sandwich, it is named after the ruler or earl of a, 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 a city or a town uh, in, in England, that, uh, that city is called sandwich. Now, the relationship between the word sandwich as a food and, sand, uh, yeah, and the word sand, sandwich, which is a place, name of a city, is that the ruler or the earl, e a r l, the earl of sandwich. That man was very fond. He was very fond of gambling, and uh, he actually uh, he's very fond of gambling to the level to the extent that he, he wants to play. He wants to gamble even uh, uh, when he is what uh, what. Uh, eating. So, uh, what did they do? What did they do? They brought him what? They brought him what? Uh, a food, which is what? Two slices of a bread, and they, they put between these two slices, they put a piece of uh, meat, and then they gave it to him, and then he started eating. Those who, who were playing with him, they said, we want, as he says, 
to have the same as sandwich to have the same as sandwich so sandwich is the uh, is already what the name of a place the l of sandwich and as i said just now but those who saw that sandwich was eating something a piece uh, what a uh, food and that food uh, he could he, he could he could eat it while he was what playing while he was playing so they said we want as sandwich so from that occasion or from that the name or the 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 ruler of the uh, what of the place the sandwich we began to have uh, what uh, okay the word uh, the word what sandwich uh, is is given to that uh, what to that food where we uh, we, we we what we have two slices of a bread and then we put what um, either meat uh, I mean uh, beef or uh, uh, what or <coughs> cheese between these two slices so now uh, sandwich is already the name of a place in in what in uh, England and the, this food uh, which we call it nowadays sandwich sandwich we call it uh, comes from the name of what that place what in England because the ruler or the earl of that uh, uh, town was very fond of eating while uh, play, uh, gambling so he wanted something uh, he, he doesn't want to be engaged from gambling so and then he wants to eat because he uh, when he's hungry and then he, he wants to gamble or play gambling huh? what does he do they they made him what this what this food and uh, which which is or, uh, originally came from the name of what a place okay so this is what we mean by uh, appendage so now I want you now to, to distinguish between coinage when it is not based on the name of a person or a name of a place and uh, and uh, an eponym uh, where we have new words these new words are based on the name of a play, uh, what a person or a place like hoover hoover this is the name of a person sandwich name of a person jeans it's taken from genoa the uh, this is a city where in uh, in Italy so now the difference in order to make it clear the difference is that these names are already existed but we use them to to uh, what we use them with uh, uh, with a new food with a new invention with a new thing here these names are already existed but they were they they uh, they are they have the names of a person or the name of a place or the name of uh, uh, of a city like like Genoa like sandwich okay but here no these words uh, what uh, uh, are not like this because these words already are not existed they are not existed at, uh, before these are found but we use them to uh, to call what either a vac vacuum cleaner or a sandwich, a food, etc., etc., or clothes, as in uh, jeans. But these, no, they are totally new. They are totally new. This is the very, uh, very important point to distinguish between eponym and what and coinage. Now, in eponym, uh, okay, right. Now, okay, eponym is also. Uh, put, uh, discussed under coinage but uh, coinage like aspirin examples like aspirin vaseline nylon these are already not existed we bring them into existence or scientists brought them into existence after the uh, what after the invention of these what uh, drug uh, medicine or an ointment or this uh, what this material okay right so these are totally new these are not totally new they are already existed hoover is the name of a person they know it also 
Genoa also while the word Sanskrit, but when they use it to with names uh, with the, with the, with uh, either with the, with food or we use, they use it with uh, uh, cloth. Now this is we call it eponym. Why eponym? Eponym means uh, also a new uh, uh, what um, uh, let's say a subdivision under coinage. Uh, but it, this is based on what? This is based on the names of places or the names of what persons? Okay. Okay. Now the last uh, <coughs> the last process the 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 last process in this video is called. Acronyms, A C R O N Y M S. Acronyms. Now, what do we mean by acronyms? Acronyms is also one of the word formation processes, and this process, uh, uh, we also create a new word. Now, the creation of a new word uh, involves or includes what? It includes. Now, we take we take the initial letters, the initial letters of those words we take the initial letters of those words now taking the those initial letters together and then we pronounce them as a single word now we call them now we call these words that we have created after this process of taking only the initial letters we call them acronyms for example um now we have compact disk. Compact disk. هذا القرص المضغوط. Now when we take the first letter, هذا C, and then we take the first, the initial letter of D, we are going to have what C D. So we have then uh, we have created a new word. We have added a new word to the language by taking the initial letter of what. Uh, the initial letters of the of the of the words. Uh, how many are they? Three words, two words, four words, etc., etc. So we we take just the initial letter and then we uh, put them together and we pronounce them. Uh, we pronounce them uh, what as one word. We say C D. No, we say C D. No, no, we say C D like this. Um, uh, another another example is this we have s p c a spasa spa spasa 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 s p c a spasa spasa by the way, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, what we pronounce them as a new uh, as uh, uh, what J uh, just like letters. I will give an, uh, an example: spasa or s p c a. Now let us see. Now s s this c s is for society. For what about this P prevention? P R E V E N T I O N. Society for a prevention. Prevention what? C cruelty. Cruelty. Cruel. Cruel. Kaswa. Cruel. Right. <coughs> uh, what? To animals. So now we have uh, uh, from this society, Jam'iya for Prevention Mana' al Qaswa al Lil Haywan, Lil Haywanat. What do we call, we call it? SPASA or SPCA. SPASA or SPCA. Right. See here we say CD. Now in the uh, UN, UN, we say UN, United Nations. United 
nations. United Nations. See U for United and Nations. So United UN C D. Okay? S uh, SPASA. Right. Um, right. Sometimes uh, we do not use capital letters. We use small letters. Like for example, Raider. And Raider, Raider, we, uh, Raider, we, we as I said, uh, uh, like this. And also we have laser, laser. Raider, Ray, 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 Raider, Raider, Laser. So here, you see. Uh, I, I, maybe I would like to say something here. Now, when we have initial letter, here, uh, radar, what does radar stand for? You have it in the book. R for radiation, see. Uh, sorry, radar, R for radio. And then we have D, detecting, right? Uh, detecting and ranging, other radio, radar. Now, uh, Laser, light, amplification, what else? Light amplification, stimulated, uh, what? Emission and of radiation. Laser, laser. The uh, light, vow, light, vow, amplification, tadkhin. S, what does it mean? S, stimulated, hath. Emission in the R. R, what does it sound? Radiation. Now here you see there is something I'd like to attract your attention to. What is it? You see here CD or uh, sometimes we pronounce it as one word or sometimes we pronounce it what, uh, uh, what, uh, no, just like uh, letters. I mean separate, but sometimes as one word. See here, SPASA or SPCA, okay, or UN. So UN, U as a letter, N as a what? As a letter. Here, uh, no, do not say. Here we say CD, CD. We do not say CD as UN. Here, no, we pronounce it as one word. So my point is. Now, when the uh, when the acronym acronym which is which comes from the initial letters from from the initial letters of the word uh, of the word uh, of the words that uh, what well, that constitute that thing, whether it is an organization, whether it is uh, uh, say for example a piece of equipment or uh, a society. Now, when it is small letter, it is pronounced as what? As one word. So here, radar. Here we say laser. We do not say R A D A R as in, for example, U S A. I forgot the word U S A here. U S A. So U S A. I do not say U S A. No, I say U S A. So my point which I want you to concentrate on is that when the <coughs> when the um, the acronym is what is a uh, small letter when we create a new word acronym now we have created a new word instead of saying radio uh, blah 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 or laser uh, light uh, amplification blah, like this we say laser we say radio so we have created a new a new word here also we have created a new instead of saying compact disc we say cd but my point is how do we pronounce these what these acronyms my point is, uh, that what what i want to uh, emphasize or stress here is that when the uh, uh, the uh, the product 
of bringing the initial letters of this word as a whole, I mean, as, as a society, uh, 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 what an organization, um, uh, <coughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, an organization, uh, organization uh, thing like this. Huh? When it is small letter, we uh, we pronounce it as a whole, as one word. Here, sometimes we pronounce it as one word, or sometimes we pronounce it as what as uh, what? No, uh, we cut we uh, as letters, separate letters. U N. But here, we do not C D C D C D. Uh, but C, for example, U S A. U S A. Another example is this. P I N. P I N. Do you say pin? We say pin or uh, pin or P I N. Pin. Pin. Now, pin. Uh, pin. If I say pin, as I said last time, that either I pronounce it as one word or I pronounce it what individually, each letter P I N. But what we said pin, pin as one word. So pin. 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 Okay, pin. Now, pin, what does it mean? Pin for personal, I for identification, and N, number. Number. Z. I have another uh, word. We have A. T M automatic added sarraf al ali automat automa automatic teller teller shunu teller machine automatic teller machine we call it also ATM as sarraf al ali but you see here uh, with these two with these two had a pin well, ATM, so for the ATM, I pronounce it as separately. So, I know here, one word. But in case they are small letters, no, I pronounce it as a whole, as one word. Now, my point here is what? You see, people, when they use pen or ATM in a, uh, in a word, they repeat the last element. So they say, what is your pin number? What is, uh, uh, I, I, I want to use the ATM machine, ATM machine. They repeat the last element here. They repeat it, as in the sentence here, which you says it. He says, uh, uh, what does he say? Um, Many speakers do not think of their component, what, meaning, innovations such as ATM, automatic teller machine, and the required PIN, personal identification number, are regularly used with one of their elements re repeated. As in, the, I sometimes, so this is, this is the example, I sometimes forget my PIN number, so if number is repeated. When I go to the ATM machine, so if machine is uh, repeated, although there is what? An so this is, uh, uh, here in these initials, they repeat in, in addition to the M, which is which stands for M. They repeat the word machine also in pin. In, uh, in addition to the word N, they repeat the word number. So now, from from personal identification number, I have created a new word by from the initial letters. From a automatic teller machine. I have created a new word that is ATM. So this is another way by which uh, uh, languages work and increase their vocabularies by taking the initial letters of that word, which is which which may be which may have three letters, three uh, th three words, 
three letters, four words, four letters. In the case of laser, no, we have radar and laser, we have more than what, two or three letters. Okay, so this is uh, what we mean by acronym. This is not very common in, in Arabic. In English, it is common, but in Arabic, it is not common. We do not have it like this. Uh, we have, for example, Sanduq Barid in Arabic, as I remember. Sadba, Sanduq Barid, Lahab. Sanduq Barid, I call Sadba. That Mas'uliya Mahduda, that Mas'uliya Mahduda, Dal Mim Mim. But this is not, uh, I mean, uh, this is not very commonly used in Arabic as it is what in English. Thank you very much. I hope this is a clear. Um, maybe, I, maybe I, I don't want to say that I, I was very clear or everything was crystal clear, crystal clear. No, I'm not saying this, but uh, at least you have an idea, say 40%, 50%, that's okay. And when we meet on the uh, Google Google Meet when we meet God willing, we are going to explain more. Uh, maybe there are things here and there I didn't mention. I will mention them in the Google Meet. Thank you very much, and I hope you will interest or you will enjoy listening to this what video. Uh, uh, at least it, it, it helps you, it gives you an idea before you go to the book. Thank you very much. We meet next time, God willing.